Apples. Did you know that every apple in the world comes from just one country? And you'll never guess which one, because I am in the country of Apples! The country that brought you every apple in the world. Welcome to... Canada! It's a country in Central Asia. Everywhere I look, I see apples, apple paintings, apple statues, apple windows, apple desserts, and even a city named after apples. This is Almaty city and Almaty means father of apples. So, why are there so many apples? Turns out, apples come from Kazakhstan. Yes, science figured out that every apple in the world can be traced back here. This is where the apple seed evolved and became the modern day apple. And the only wild apple forest left on the planet is here in Kazakhstan. Apple! It's so good, it's so sweet and soft. So the next time you bite into a juicy, crunchy apple, think of Kazakhstan. Last one minute. See you tomorrow. There is a country where people eat rocks. Like this. Where is this place? Why do they eat rocks? And how does it taste? This food is clay. Yes, actual clay that is grown in the mountains. And some people here consider it food. Welcome to... In Kazakhstan and in Central Asia, you can go into a market and see buckets of clay right next to the fruits and nuts. So you just, just eat it like that? Yeah. Huh? Some people buy and eat this like a snack. Even pregnant women do. But why? I eat it because sometimes I crave it. This one is my favorite because it's saltier. Nobody really knows where the tradition comes from, but many people think that it has a lot of nutrients. Some people think that clay is good for you because it has lots of iron. But most doctors disagree with this and do not recommend it. A bit dry. Mm. Some lime. <laughs> I don't know how I feel about it. Not everyone eats clay and it's not that common. But if you ever wanted to eat rocks, then come to Kazakhstan. That's one minute. See you tomorrow. When you think of boxers, you might think of YouTubers like Jake Paul. But I've come to a country where they're actually good at boxing. This country is in Central Asia and it is the number one in the world by the International Boxing Association. Welcome to... Kazakhstan! Men and women won 24 boxing medals at the Olympics. And one of the most famous boxers in the world is from here. So, why are they so good at boxing? One, jeans. Some people think they are born with it. Kazakhstan people used to be nomads, so everyone had to be really strong and competitive. Two, Dang. Some people think it's because they have a special type of training. And the last reason surprised me the most. Trust me. Many boxers think that drinking horse milk makes them better at boxing. But one thing is clear. If you want to see a good fight, skip YouTube and go to Kazakhstan. That's one minute. See, see you tomorrow. tomorrow. This is a piece of uranium. It's the number one ingredient in nuclear weapons. The most dangerous weapon in the world. And guess what? 50% of the world's uranium comes from this country, here in Kazakhstan. If Kazakhstan wanted, they could make more nuclear weapons than Russia and China and America combined, because they have the uranium. But here is the crazy part, they chose not to. Kazakhstan was one of only four countries in the world to give up their nuclear weapons. They gave all 1,400 Soviet nuclear weapons away. Despite having so much uranium, Kazakhstan
Kazakhstan is free of nuclear weapons because they chose peace. Instead, they use uranium to build nuclear power plants that generate electricity. They use uranium to do science experiments, like at universities. And they use uranium to help treat cancer. Let's all learn from Kazakhstan and use this incredible resource for medicine, for energy, and for science, but not for weapons. That's one minute. See you tomorrow. I want to show you something crazy. Do you know your great, 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 great grandparents? Yes, of course. Yes. Yes, yes, we, we do. do. This country is an inspiration. So many people here care about family so much that they know their family tree seven generations back. Seven generations! This is Kazakhstan, one of the most family-oriented countries in the world. Do you know your seven ancestors? Yes. Talhan, Asher, Umin, Yelba, Koyba, Zoldobai, Mama Aulia. Shaprashtet yeki Davlet Bay Sarabai Maidan Tulek Kona. Rali Irza Nangan Kwanus Kulba Imambala Kozagilda. Now think about us. We know our parents' names and our grandparents' names. But that's where it stops. We don't know where we come from. We don't know the tens of people who made us who we are today. From the nomad times, family was very important for Kazakhs. Family is support, protection and safety. We don't think about Kazakhstan, but we should learn more from them. We should appreciate the tens of people before us who made us who we are today. That's what we see!